as you know, every technology has a good side and potential for misuse or abuse if it's not implemented right. And they're always, and every time you go through a technology transformation, the more digitized you get, the more organized you get, the more opportunity there is for bad things to happen. So I think, yes, there are some concerns. So look, we've got concerns around deep fakes and generating content, which is not real people. How do we contend with that? And we've already seen examples because we're in the security business. We see examples of people misusing that and, you know, going after honest, you know, unsuspecting people and citizens trying to extract money out of them. So we've already seen people get ahead of that curve and trying to use AI in, a, in the wrong, or generative AI in the wrong way. You know, we've heard concerns of, of the dark concerns of if AI becomes so smart, it becomes AGI, you're basically it's smarter than human beings. What if it takes control? So, oh my God, that's even more scary than the climate issue. Right? Climate issues were still in control. In that, in that notion, we're not in control. So I think there's a lot of uncertainty, like you said, a lot of unknowns associated with. I think it's important to ensure that as this evolution happens, we build guardrails in, in, we build systems in, like, you know, one of the systems I heard or something like, anytime AI is asked to generate content, everybody with that capability, it should be required to say this content was generated by AI, right? So then the notion of deep fakes becomes, you know, harder for people to abuse it because any tool that can be used to generate content should actually articulate that this was generated by AI, not by human beings. So you get a phone call, says this was generated by AI. You get to see a video, generated by AI. So. There are guardrails that need to be built in. There is compliance mechanisms that need to be set up in place. So I think we're gonna have a fun time trying to build a whole sort of management and governance infrastructure around this stuff.